Uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the button activated. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you how to do the button activated door in town slash town debug. And you can actually do this in um in a regular town because of the, the town uh, update, the town wiring update. So let's get started. First, you're going to want to put your door. This can just be any regular size, maybe like like wide like this. It doesn't really matter what size. You're going to get two blocks or you're actually going to get one you're going to scale it down about the size of the door make it kind of like a cube then <laughs> you're going to press G to go to texture make sure on texture not decal add texture and then since this is the bottom where it starts the repeat on the left is going to be one <laughs> And then the transparency always has to be negative 500. Make sure it's like that. You're going to copy one of these, put it at the top of the door. <laughs> and and put the repeat to 2. Since that's the next one. Or the top one where it's going to end. And then you're good there. And for the bottom one, you're going to you're, you're gonna copy this and paste it like to the right here. Here's a good spot. You're going to change the repeat to 4. And then you're going to change the color to neon green. After all that, you're going <laughs> to... You're going to shift click everything. Shift click, shift click, shift click. Once you have everything selected, press shift G. And go into the chat and type exclamation mark WC. And you should see wired one connections. <laughs> you're going to make a button. So basically the button is just two cylinders stacked on top of each other. So look, we're just gonna get this <laughs> We're gonna get this button or this cylinder, spread it out a bit, copy it, bring it up, and then make it smaller. We're gonna put it there <laughs> We're gonna put it there in the middle. And then we're gonna make we're gonna make it red, just so you can it's more visual. After you got that done, you're gonna copy it, put it to the left a little bit. Then you're gonna make it thinner, like a pancake. Once you've done that, you're gonna go to add texture, and then you're gonna put the reach beat to one, and then negative five hundred. Uh. Can we make it daytime, please? <laughs> we're gonna then we're gonna copy that, bring it under it, and then make that two. Bring it under it again, make that, uh, make that three. <laughs> then you're gonna make that neon green, so that that can uh, receive uh, messages from this one, so they're the same color exactly. And if you made it a different color, just make sure they're the exact same. Now you're going to shift click all three of these. Make it invisible by pressing N and then going to transparency, putting that on <laughs> putting that on one. Then you're going to shift shift click the button and the three buttons that you made just a second ago. You're going to press shift G and then you're going to go into the chat do exclamation mark WC. And it should say wire two connections if you did it right. Then just put your B tools away. It should say interactable on it. Just go ahead and give it a click. Give it a second. Boom. Button activated door. And while you can press it again, takes a second. Closes. And nobody else can open it from here or any other of the buttons. It has to be open from this button right here. So. <laughs> So yeah, it's really good for um, for bases and stuff like that, you know. So I think this uh <laughs> I think this has ended our tutorial. Um I hope this helps.